The President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. Uh, today, the trial chamber will continue to hear the testimony of a witness, uh, Real Son, to conclude. And uh, we may uh, start to hear the testimony, uh, TCW. Eight to two, uh, and, and we to say may in this case because the witness has a uh, high blood pressure. He was admitted to the hospital, and this morning um, he, he was seen by the doctor uh, to see if he can uh, provide testimony. Uh, for today, um, this afternoon. And secondly, the uh, chamber informed all parties that if you have time, we will uh, listen to the oral submission uh, regard the request by the lead co lawyer to request for a testimony of a uh, new uh, civil party, D22 slash 200. Uh, five thousands, including the uh, request for admission of a new document uh, uh, in relation to the request for uh, uh, hearing the testimony of the new civil party. Uh, Ms. Suhong, uh, could you report the attendance of the parties and individuals to today's proceedings? Greffier. Mr. President, for today's proceedings, all Monsieur parties to this case are present. As for Mr. Nguyen Chia, he is present Nguyen Chia, in the holding cell downstairs as he requests to waive his right to be present in the courtroom. His waiver has been delivered to the greffier. The witness who is to testify today to complete his uh, testimony is Mr. Rilson, and the witness and his duty counsel are present in uh, the courtroom. Uh, we have a reserve witness, uh, 2TCW822. The witness confirm that to his best knowledge he has no Confirme relationship by blood or by law to any of the two accused Nguyen Chia or Kilsum Pon, nor to any of the civil parties admitted in this case. The witness will take an oath before um, the uh, Iron Club journey this morning. The President, thank you, uh, Ms. Crefier. The Chamber now decides on the request by Nguyen Chia. The Chamber has received a waiver from Nguyen Chia dated 19 March 2015. He confirms that, due to his poor health condition, that he uh, is headache, back pain, and that he cannot sit for long. And in order to effectively participate in the future hearings, he requests to waive his right to participate in and uh, be present at the hearing of uh, 19 March 2015 hearing. He has been informed by his counsel about the consequence of this waiver, that no, in no way it can be construed as a waiver of his right to be tried fairly and to challenge evidence presented admit, or admitted to the court by any time during this trial. Having seen the medical report by the duty, duty doctor for the accused, at ECC dated 19 March 2015, who notes that the health condition of Nguyen Chia is that he has severe back pain when he sits for long and recommends that the chamber shall grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information, the and pursuant to Rule 815 of the ECC internal rule, the Chamber grants Nguyen Chia's request to follow proceeding remotely from the holding cell downstairs via an audiovisual means for today's proceeding as he waived his right um, to, to his direct uh, present in the courtroom. 
the AV unit is instructed to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nunchia can participate in and follow today's proceedings remotely. Before giving the floor to the Kilsen Pond Defense Councils, the trial chamber would like to uh, instruct the Crefiers in cooperation with the uh, witness and export uh, expert uh, support section to inform the reserve witness TCW822 so that he can uh, so that we can obtain the uh, availability or um, his ability to give testimony and the chamber wishes to hear that if his health is not um, well, um, the chamber uh, would like to obtain that information before the conclusion of the testimony of Mr. Rilson. The trial chamber is now uh, giving the floor to the defense counsel for Mr. Kilsen Pond to continue his line of questioning for Mr. Rilson. Defend Counsel Kung Sum On. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Witness, uh, good morning. And Monsieur I témoin, will continue uh, to put questions uh, to you. And Je yesterday we, uh, we were talking hier. about your responsibility and also responsibility. the structure of the district uh, hospital where you worked. And now I would like to ask Ferner further about the uh, code of conduct for um, medical staff. My question for you is that were there any meetings to discuss on the uh, respect for discipline in giving treatment for uh, the public uh, during the regime? Des patients pendant le régime. Answer. During that regime, Réponse. there were meetings of um, code of conduct. The meeting were régime, conducted every week. Even though there was no problem occurred, we uh, had a meeting today, for example, and we uh, set a date for the next meeting so that everyone uh, should Une adhere to uh, the uh, discipline and rule in the hospital. No matter, everyone was so happy. A meeting was imperative. So even uh, we fail to adhere for a day, uh, we might be in trouble. Council, thank you. Can you indicate or elaborate a bit further about the code of conduct or disciplines for uh, your staff at the hospital, what uh, were they? Answer. The rules and disciplines for our hospital uh, would include instructing the staff to be humble, gentle to the patients, and when giving injection, uh, they should avoid any difficulty, any rude word to avoid problem. Uh, in general, the code of conduct for physicians or for medics were all um, advised. Question. Can you tell the court um, if there is any case uh, one of your staff violated uh, the code of conduct or the or discipline? Was there any action against uh, the person who breached or who violated the code of conduct? Answer. Yes, and there was an uh, incident like that at my hospital. Um, it, it was a, a moral misconduct. A man and uh, a woman who, who committed that uh, misconduct. And I requested to the district chief to remove, uh, to remove the husband uh, 
out of my place and le uh, his le wife is in my hospital, but the husband was sent to another hospital. Et le mari a été envoyé à un autre hospital, tandis que la femme est Question. dans mon hôpital. Are you talking about two women love each other? Question. Is it correct? Êtes-vous en train de parler de deux femmes qui Answer, yes. Réponse, c'est exact. Yes, uh, two women love each other. Réponse, oui, c'est exact. C'était deux femmes My question qui for you is uh, related to the uh, implementation the or the enforcement hein? of the code of conduct. Um, de uh, when you say medical hein? practice, if there was any malpractice in that um, si profession, il y avait um, un you train them well on that. Uh, was there any malpractice by any uh, medical staff at your hospital? Answer. There was no incident like that during that time. Réponse, non, il in fact, there was no incident. So en if fait, any case happened, there would be a report to me. Si and if it happened compte. with the uh, male or female nurse, there, there might be, there would be a report to, uh, to si me. Le problème avait lieu parmi Council, les thank you. Talking about providing services, including receiving complaint from Question. the patients, uh, saying that uh, services, the nurses uh, use rude word or um, bad attitudes uh, si, towards the exemple, patient. Did you receive any complaints like that? Answer, yes, I did. Il eu des plaintes de cet ordre? Uh, some young staff often oui. made uh, rude word or uh, made mistake by using a strong word, but I immediately call him for call them for reprimand for uh, adv uh, advice. Question, could you tell the court how did you uh, advise or instruct them after they commit uh, that kind Question. of uh, a small mistake? Answer. Error? Yes, I just told them not to do it again. It was a brief advice. There was no sanction uh, for that uh, mistake. Pas de sanction. Je leur disais de ne plus recommencer. Question. As part of your management or Question. control over your staff at the hospital, um, did you know um, your staff uh, who were from uh, different uh, places? Do you know uh, those kind of details? Answer. Yes, I knew. Réponse. Those staff oui. were all from Takao province, province uh, except Neri Han that we, are, we were talking Neri yesterday. Han, uh, she was hier. sent Elle from uh, Kampung Chenang province. province de Kampung Chenam. Council, thank you. La défense. Je vous remercie. My next question is about um, your witness or your knowledge um, in relation to Mr. Kilson Pond in your testimony um, before uh, uh, the OCIG, uh, before, uh, before uh, under document E3 slash 5511. It is at uh, question and answer 24. Question et réponse numéro 24. You said that, je and I quote, je cite, I saw Kiel Sampon in his, at his wedding in Chambok Ponari village, in brackets, uh, currently Stung village, Kpo Trabek commune, currently 
Haut-Sarai commune. Actuellement, commune de Haut However, I Cependant, did not um, speak or talk to him. End of quote. In the same uh, statement, Dans cette même it is at uh, question and answer number two. Question et réponse numéro deux. You say that And I quote, in this area, it was the area where Khmer Rouge was created, and uh, Tamok's house uh, is in Prokhi village, Trupeng Thong The people say that during 1957 uh, and 58, Kiel Sampon went there and saw uh, Tamok and met Tamok, end of quote. My question is that, was My is this suivante. the only uh, circumstances, or were it uh, two different circumstances or occasion when you uh, saw Kiel Sampan? Sampan Answer. There were two different occasions. The first happened uh, before the coup d'état. I heard from people that Kiel Sampon went there to meet with Tamok. And in another occasion, I saw Mr. Kiel Sampon for a, a short time. In fact, I didn't know him, but uh, Ye Kom, the, the wife of Tamok, who told me that he was Kiel Sampon. So this, uh, these are the two occasions. Council, thank you. My follow-up question for you uh, on the same document at answer two. And you said that people said uh, during 1970, uh, 1957 or 58 about that. Did you hear it a, a, a general speaking uh, from one person to another? Or did you hear from a person by name or any relation uh, with you as friend that uh, he told he or she told you that Kiel Sampon went there to, to meet with Tamok. Answer. I heard uh, from many villagers in a group sometime um, they talk about that and uh, during that time, there was chaos uh, among the people in the commune, and people would meet and ask uh, from one another, and I heard um, this from them. Council, thank you. Can you tell the specific date of that uh, incident? Was it during 1957, 1958? Was it early of the year or middle or at the end of uh, either of the year you have just mentioned? Answer. No, I cannot recall the specific date because it has been a very long time ago réponse, and non, I did not pay uh, attention to date as well. Council, a while ago you indicated that there was a, uh, a chaos in uh, the community. Vous avez in parlé what de la circumstances il y a un instant, that vous avez brought Mr. Kilsum Pond to see Tamok? Uh, did you hear any accounts of any person um, as regards uh, uh, that meeting? Parlé? Answer. In fact, some of the Réponse. people, at the time I was young, the old people um, knew about that, and people would meet à each other and jeune, talk about uh, what they heard. But I was young, I uh, did not uh, know much. I did not uh, try to search for more. Council, thank you. In 1957 or 1958, 
Did you know that kills upon hold any title or any position um, that lead to the discussion by those villagers about him? Answer. As far as I remember, at that time, Mr. Kilson Pond fled uh, to the jungle, but I heard that he fled into the jungle, but I don't know where he, he was uh, living. Council, you said that Mr. Kilson Pond fled into the forest. So I think uh, you are mistaken about the date. It, it might be in 1967 or 1968. Is this uh, correct? Answer, yes, that is correct. Oui, c'est exact because my uh, memory does not serve me well. Parce que ma mémoire me joue parfois des tours. Also, regarding the Merci. time that you claimed you saw Kiru Sampon, Pour ce qui est de la date à laquelle vous prétendez and avoir you also mentioned it in your written record Et of uh, interview that is question answer 24, as well as uh, during your testimony before this chamber. La question à la réponse 24 en particulier. I have some questions que uh, to put to you on this issue. Vous poser des questions. You stated that a case in point was there during a wedding ceremony. You also talked about helping Tamok's wife you come to carry the rice cake. Can you tell the court how did you know that uh, that wedding was the wedding of Mr. Kyu Sampon? Answer. I knew it was the wedding of Mr. Kyu Sampon because I was told about it by Yekon. Yekon qui dit qu du I carried the rice cake. Moi, so rather, she uh, carried the rice rice cake and I helped her as uh, it was uh, too heavy uh, for her, so I put uh, some cake on my uh, bicycle. And when I was there, uh, before I left, she told me uh, that person was killed some porn, and I was about 50 meters from the person. Council interrupts. Thank you. Did you hear any music play during that event? Or did you observe there were guests uh, attending that uh, wedding ceremony? Or what was the situation like uh, when you were there? Qu'avez-vous vu exactement lorsque vous étiez là-bas? Answer. No, uh, I did not see Réponse. any guest uh, because I, uh, I was uh, a bit far from where it was. Un peu loin de I où saw only a few people uh, from a distance. Je vu que quelques personnes and de the loin. only thing that I recall was that Tout you come pointed to uh, that man and told me that it was killed some porn. And, and after that, I pain. left. Par la suite, je suis parti. Council, thank you. La Défense, merci. From uh, the location where you could see, uh, was it your observation that Depuis it was a wedding ceremony? Avez-vous pu voir qu'il s'agissait d'une cérémonie de mariage? Answer. I cannot say for sure Réponse, because I was rather far loin. from uh, that office and the office was uh, surrounded by a friend which was uh, then surrounded by a, a bamboo grove. I couldn't see it clearly. Je ne pouvais donc pas voir très clairement. 
but I saw a thatched roof building there. Mais I only saw part of the roof. Chaume, un bâtiment recouvert And that's de all de I could see. If voilà I were there at the uh, building locations, then I could si tell you for sure whether it was a wedding ceremony or not. Avec plus de certitude, s'il s'agissait bel et bien d'une cérémonie de mariage. Council, thank you. La défense, merci. Can you uh, tell the court uh, when you said that you saw Kyo Sampan at the Port Tabak? What year was it? And so I uh, cannot recall the year. Le témoin, However, je ne me souviens pas de l'année. Mais je me souviens qu'à l'époque, je travaillais au bar de Port Tabak. Et à la nuit, je dormais avec les travailleurs. Et c'est là que j'ai vu que les travailleurs portaient des pains de riz. Et c'est là que j'ai vu que les travailleurs portaient des pains de riz. Et c'est là que j'ai vu que les travailleurs portaient des pains de riz. Et c'est là que j'ai vu que les travailleurs portaient des pains de riz. Et c'est là que j'ai vu que les travailleurs portaient des pains de riz. Et c'est là que j'ai vu que les travailleurs portaient des Council, thank you. La défense, merci. Can you also uh, tell the court whether this event took place before or after the coup d'état? Si cela a eu lieu avant ou après le coup d'état? And uh, it was after the coup d'état. Réponse, c'était après le coup d'état. And the, the lunar regime was engaged in the aerial bombardment. Il y avait des bombardements à uh, l'époque du régime de Lonnol. Council, thank you. La défense, merci. You stated that you did not see Q Sampon clearly as you were about 50 meters away from him. Vous étiez situé à environ 50 mètres de lui. Did you ever see the photo of Q Sampon? Avez vous jamais uh, vu une photo previously? de Q Sampon? For example, through a uh, media or newspapers. Auparavant, par exemple dans les médias, les journaux. Answer. Yes. Réponse. I did see his photo. Oui, j'ai vu sa photo. In a uh, magazine. Je l'ai vu dans un magazine. That's uh, when I was uh, young. Je l'ai vu. And he was also rather young. Jeune. Et lui-même était également assez jeune. Question. Can you specify whether at Question. the time? You were young, or at, a time, at that time, a case of porn was young. Pourriez-vous préciser est-ce que c'est vous qui étiez jeune ou le ou que c'est le microphone? Le président, faites attention au microphone, s'il vous plaît, monsieur le témoin. Le témoin. When I saw his photo, he was young. Il était jeune. And I myself was even younger than him. J'étais plus jeune encore. I was still single at the time. J'étais encore célibataire à l'époque. Council, thank you. La défense, merci. I'd like to ask you some further questions regarding document A319.1.21. At question answer 50. Question réponse 50. That is in relation uh, to the head of the man, the H. Vous y parlez de ta ex. Ta ex. And let me uh, quote your uh, a statement. Et je cite ce que vous avez dit à quote, ce sujet. Ta ex, who was head of Mangs at the Pagoda, protested against the Khmer Rouge order. He beat the drum to call the people to protest against the Khmer Rouge. But no one dared come. Personne n'a osé contester. The uh, Khmer Rouge clique only beat him. Les Khmer Rouges or two, or ont three alors times frappé de plusieurs clap, coups de matraque. Fin de citation. How did you know about uh, the drum beating and about uh, the Comment fact that that man was beaten? Comment avez-vous appris que cet homme avait été frappé? 
And so, at that time, I was actually there. Réponse. Not far from where it happened, there were monks coming from Phnom Penh, and uh, there was also a head of uh, monks from the Lanka Pagoda who was there. I knew him because I used to offer a food to him. Later on, I was uh, chased away and uh, to go home, so I left the place. Question. Question. What were you doing there at the time? Que faisiez-vous là-bas à l'époque ou à ce moment-là? President, uh, witness, please uh, observe the uh, témoin, microphone. Veuillez faire attention au microphone, s'il vous plaît. Witness. At that time, I uh, stayed at home. And on the day the men were uh, disrobed, uh, it took place uh, not long after uh, the coup d'état. But I cannot recall the, the details, and I did not pay much attention to that event. Question. Uh, who were there with you? Question. Avec qui étiez-vous? Answer. I cannot recall it. There were some people standing there. Il y avait des including gens a driver who was uh, transporting uh, clothes qui des and vêtements there was an uh, elderly man who beat the man with a, a club. Lui qui a frappé I thought uh, he uh, choked when he uh, beat the, the man, but the man said it, it hurt. Le moine a dit que ça lui, lui faisait mal. Question. Did you know the person who beat the man? Answer no, I did not. He was an elderly man, and his head was bald. Il était chauve. And at that time, I it was like the first time in the area where I saw a chief carrying clothes. Question: Can you recall the year when it happened? C'était la première fois que je voyais une Jeep transporter des vêtements. Answer, no, I uh, cannot recall the year. It's been Question, uh, too long. Question, pourriez-vous nous dire en quelle année cela a eu lieu Réponse, non, je ne m'en souviens pas. Cela remonte à trop longtemps. And also, I uh, did not pay attention uh, to uh, plus, that event. De plus, je n'ai pas vraiment prêté attention à cet événement. And when I was interviewed by the DC camp, I kept thinking about uh, what I moi, uh, knew, and I, uh, this even uh, popped up uh, in my mind. Question. You stated that Question. you were at that pagoda at the time. Vous avez dit que vous étiez à cette pagode à ce moment-là. Can you state to the court uh, what was the purpose uh, for you to go to that pagoda? Pourquoi vous vous étiez rendu dans cette pagode? Answer. As I just stated, Réponse. I went Comme to the pagoda dire, to offer a food to my former uh, teacher, uh, who was from the Lanka Pagoda, and his uh, residence uh, place at the pagoda was at Lanka Pagoda was Il... 24. So I went there to offer the, him the food, and then I Il saw this uh, jeep. Uh, Transporting clothes, and later on I left. Question: Were there uh, many people inside the Question, compound of the pagoda besides an elderly man and a driver, as you just stated? Answer: so, No. Uh, besides Réponse. that, uh, uh, there was a person or a cook. Who cooked uh, rice for? Il y avait également un who cooked like three, four to five big uh, pots qui uh, faisait cuire uh, du riz for the men? Trois ou quatre marmites assez grandes pour les moines. And uh, from what I can recall, there were two or three uh, people souviens, in the kitchen. Il y avait deux ou trois personnes dans la cuisine. Question: Were there Question. many men staying in that pagoda? Il y avait beaucoup de moines dans cette pagode. Answer. 
the monks actually did not stay Good in course. the uh, that pagoda. Les the monks had been evacuated from Phnom Penh and from elsewhere, and there were more than 100 monks. Council, uh, thank you. Now I'd like to uh, ask you some Merci. questions in relation to Tamok. In that same document, Dans le même document uh, question answer 63, question réponse 63, you said that you uh, made Tamok. Vous avez dit avoir in order to Tamok. get instructions from him on Et how to uh, produce the medicines. consignes de sa part concernant la fabrication de médicaments. And on the 17th of March 2015, that is uh, two days ago, mars 2015, you testified jours, at around 2.25 in the afternoon vers, uh, 14h25, that uh, when you uh, made the demo, uh, you were afraid of him Tamo, and you tried to, to avoid lui, him and other people failed to the fame. Et que les gens faisaient de même. So, my question to you is in relation to the meeting between you and Tamok uh, when you were to receive instructions from him on how to produce the medicines. Que vous étiez censé recevoir des consignes de sa part pour la production des médicaments. Can you tell the court uh, what was it like at that time oui, because you said you were afraid of him? Nous parler un peu plus de cette Answer. rencontre, sachant que vous aviez peur de lui. Tamok Réponse. was a person whom you could go to see him or go to near him only when he called you. En fait, l'on pouvait aller voir Tamok uniquement And it happened nous to everyone. So if he called you, then you could approach si him. Otherwise, you appelez, they are not. Vous pouviez vous approcher de lui. Sinon, vous ne pouviez That's pas le his, faire. That's uh, his character. Voilà ce que je peux dire à propos de son caractère. Question. Did you hear? Question. Or did you see? Or did you? Avez-vous reçu des instructions de sa part Answer. Uh, one day, I ran Réponse. out of uh, the main medicine, Un jour, and when I saw him, I uh, approached him. That is. While I was uh, on the road, sur la route, and I je told him that I ran out of uh, the, the main medicine, que à court de and that is uh, uh, Kung Fu, because there were some patients who uh, were poisoned or something by food, and then he told us to go and buy it. And then I told him that we couldn't buy it anywhere Alors because the, the money was no longer used. Then he wrote me an instruction to go to District 55 meet with Chong. And that I should get the money from him. À lui que je devais demander de l'argent. So off I went with the letter to, uh, to meet with Chong. And the Chong gave Tachon. us uh, three or Et four Tachon. pigs. Then I Nous battered the pigs uh, with the Vietnamese for the medicine. And after that, I returned. Counsel, thank you. La défense, merci. Did you receive uh, any orders in relation to security matters or in relation to arrest from the mob? ou par rapport à d'éventuelles exécutions de la part de Tamok Answer, no. Réponse, non. Non, to whatever. Non. I did not receive any instruction Je n'ai pas reçu d'instruction de sa part the concernant des arrestations. All. Pas du tout. Question. 
What about other instructions or orders that uh, Tamok uh, gave to other people and that uh, you knew about it? Were there such orders or instructions? Avez-vous entendu parler de ces ordres, de ces consignes? Answer, please repeat your question. Réponse, pourriez-vous répéter cette question, question. s'il vous plaît? My question to you is whether uh, you heard that the uh, gave orders or instructions to other cadres in relation to uh, uh, the arrest or in relation to uh, torturing, etc. Did you ever hear such uh, an order? Avez-vous entendu ce genre d'instruction? Answer: No, I Réponse. never heard uh, anything of that non. nature. Je n'ai rien entendu de la sorte. If there uh, was an order from Tamok, such an order would not be si uh, avait donné ce genre conveyed uh, in front of me. Uh, it would uh, be done uh, secretly. Devant moi. Il l'aurait fait en secret. So I never heard about uh, the arrest order or anything uh, like that. Je n'ai jamais entendu parler d'ordre d'arrestation ni de quoi que ce soit de ce genre. Counsel, uh, thank you, Mr. President. Défense, I merci, don't have any further questions for this witness. Je n'ai pas d'autres questions à poser à ce témoin. President, uh, thank Le you. Le président, merci. And Arthur Verkan, you have the floor. Maître Verkan a la parole. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Monsieur le témoin, je voudrais vous demander une chose Mr. à propos Witness, de Monsieur Kiosampan. Like vous avez dit tout à l'heure que vous l'aviez vu deux fois. J'ai noté que lorsque vous aviez été interviewé par euh, les enquêteurs de DCCAM, vous aviez aussi parlé euh, d'une troisième fois à propos d'un épisode où Monsieur Kiosampan avait été an episode dénudé par la police in which Mr. Kiersampan en plein marché est-ce que vous vous souvenez avoir parlé de cela accosted by the police in the market présent. do you remember telling the chamber about that an occasion at which you were present but Yes, I did. At that time, I was a, a student in Phnom Penh, and I went to pick up a, a food container from uh, Excellency Sarun Cha. And at that time, I saw a crowd of uh, people, including the rickshaw drivers, notamment des chauffeurs. And I asked uh, the people there uh, what happened, and they said that their kids upon was being uh, mistreated. I heard, uh, that's all uh, I heard, and then I continued my trip to pick up my food container. At that time, I was rather far from uh, uh, where it happened. There were hundreds of uh, rickshaw driver drivers at the time. J'ai vu qu'il y avait des centaines de, de chauffeurs. The interpreter wishes to correct that. Uh, Donc on vous a juste parlé de ce qui se passait. Vous n'avez rien observé avec vos yeux. So, question: You did not actually observe anything yourself. You only heard about it. Man. I saw it with my own eyes, uh, but uh, from a, a distance that is uh, like from uh, one wall of this courtroom to another wall. I was uh, uh, that far. At that time, he was uh, stripped naked, and uh, the uh, rickshaw drivers, uh, some of them, offered him a uh, scarf. To cover his body. That's all I knew about the incident. D'accord. Very well. Vous avez parlé à plusieurs reprises ces jours-ci, Monsieur, de du fait que. Un certain nombre des personnes qui vous entouraient étaient des gens sans éducation, parfois des illettrés, sans expérience. D'après vous, qu'est-ce qui justifiait ou qu'est-ce qui provoquait à l'époque le fait que l'on confie des, des tâches à des personnes qui semblaient incapables 
de les remplir ou pas très compétentes Comment expliquez-vous le fait que vous ayez été entouré notamment de, de gens qui n'avaient pas les, les capacités intellectuelles, semble-t-il, de mener à bien les tâches qui leur étaient confiées Est-ce qu'il y a une explication pour à ça À l'époque in light of the experiences you had during that period. In fact, I asked them the same question. Why the uneducated ones were given the position? Then they replied to me that I should then teach them how to read and write. That was their response. Et c'est ce que vous avez tenté de faire vous-même, ensuite Éduquer ces personnes de leur fournir une formation Mais The interpreter did not hear the response from the witness. Répétez votre réponse, elle n'a pas été traduite en français. Merci. Please witness, repeat your answer. It was not translated into English. Slide. Ça même dans slide ça quoi microphone dans pas parce que witness please respond again as you your response was before the microphone was on. Car vous avez répondu avant que le microphone ne soit allumé. Witness, I cannot recall the question. Please put it again. Thank you. I was simply asking you whether you indeed tried to train your personnel to pallier the staff of your staff. Whether you indeed tried to train your personnel to pallier the staff of your staff. Whether you indeed tried to train your personnel to pallier the staff of your staff. Whether you indeed tried to train your personnel to pallier the staff of your staff. Whether you indeed tried to train your personnel to pallier the staff Did you yourself try to train the people you associated with as you were instructed or advised? Yes, I oui. tried my best uh, to provide their education pour, uh, to the, uh, the children in terms of uh, studying letters and alphabets and to the medical staff in the medical field in how to, uh, dans la formation to make a better uh, injection. Pour que le à mieux faire des That happened when I worked at the hospital. Je fait je à bien sûr. Because uh, many female medical uh, staff there did not Beaucoup know how to uh, inject their medicine. And the same thing uh, applied to the male medical uh, staff hommes, at the hospital. Donc, uh, est-ce que vous diriez que au fur et à mesure du so, que le temps s'écoulait, euh, les choses s'amélioraient de ce point de vue-là, du point de vue de la formation des gens qui vous entouraient. Standpoint, Yes, uh, they actually uh, increased their uh, uh, capability. Le personnel est devenu plus compétent. Je voudrais vous faire parler un petit peu de quelque like chose que vous avez également évoqué avec les, les enquêteurs de DCCAM, mm. à you savoir by DC Cam <coughs> les échanges auxquels vous procédiez That avec euh, le Vietnam, le troc, you vous avez euh, déjà évoqué à cette barre, ces jours-ci, les échanges euh, pour acheter des, des médicaments you ou des produits qui vous serviraient à fabriquer des médicaments. Et je voudrais savoir euh, que vous précisiez d'où venaient les médicaments. Can you specify les animaux, euh, les objets que vous échangiez pour avoir ces produits Comment les obteniez-vous obtain Je 
Tamok Je présentais une demande à Tamok et uh, j'ai une demande à Tamok to go to pour que je puisse me rendre au district uh, 55 da Chong. où je devais rencontrer Ta Chong. Uh, et Ta Chong m'a remis des uh, cochons. J'ai obtenu quatre cochons. And we were closer to the uh, to the border. Nous étions proches de so la frontière. I took uh, the pigs Donc to uh, Ankobore and put them on a boat. Je and les à Ankobore. Then I went nous to the border for uh, battering. À la frontière pour faire du troc. Est-ce que ces opérations de troc avaient lieu the, durant le these, um, border Khmer exchanges Rouge, did they also happen during the Khmer Rouge regime between 1975-1979? Were there were there any such instances of bordering? The bordering continued until the relationship between the two countries uh, broke off jusqu'à la rupture des relations entre les deux pays. Because by that time the Vietnamese did not want to have any further relationship with us. Les Vietnamiens n'ont plus voulu avoir aucun lien avec nous. Lorsque vous avez été entendu And par when you were questioned, vous avez discuté avec les enquêteurs de DCCAM, vous avez DC également Cam parlé d'achat de montres pour les cadres of watches for cadres. de votre région. Vous vous souvenez for de... in your region. Do you remember cette anecdote. Do you remember this happening? But Answer. Talking about purchasing watches, I don't think I, re I purchase any watches non, for the country. But uh, for myself, I do not wear any watch. I feel shy to wear it, but um, someone gave me watches I would give to si another person. Une montre, je la à I never purchase watches for any countries, but sometimes at soir. the economic office at the district, district uh, sometimes um, some dollar notes came with the clothes uh, which were piled up. And sometimes we found uh, watches, uh, but uh, some watches were collected également. and we gave to other countries. But I didn't cadre. wear any watch. Moi, I don't like it. Bien sûr. Of course, of Alors, course. je vais vous rafraîchir so la mémoire. C'est l'expression qui est en vigueur ici. Je vais lire un petit passage de la cote D313, de fraction 1. Et vous allez voir que dans le document de D313, ERN français 00802632. ERN anglais 00-72-90-51. C'est votre discussion il y a 14 ans avec l'enquêteur de DCCAM. Et voilà ce que vous dites. And this is what you said. Moi, je savais fabriquer de la vitamine C car j'avais suivi une formation dans ce domaine. Mais j'en fabriquais en petite quantité suivant les instructions de l'échelon supérieur. J'avais acheté les compositions de la vitamine C au Vietnam. C'était en 1975, n'est-ce pas Et là, vous répondez oui. Question. 
comment avez-vous pu en acheter puisque selon vos dires, vous aviez jeté tout votre argent Réponse. J'utilisais de l'or donné par Tamok et les responsables de la région. Pour chaque achat, j'en emportais 4 à 5 kg au Vietnam. Et d'autres du village me confiaient qui une once d'or, qui 2 à 3 onces d'or, dixième d'onces d'or, pour leur acheter 2, 3 ou 4 montres à chaque fois qu'ils apprenaient mon départ au Vietnam. Question. Et quand ils portaient ces montres-là, on ne leur confisquait pas Réponse. Pourquoi on l'aurait fait C'était tous des cadres. Question. En quelle année êtes-vous parti au Vietnam pour échanger cet or Réponse. C'était en 1975 et 1976. Voilà le passage qui m'a amené à vous poser une question, monsieur. Est-ce que cela vous rafraîchit la mémoire Est-ce que vous vous souvenez maintenant que l'on vous a confié de l'or pour acheter des montres au Vietnam to buy uh, watches in Vietnam. Answer. I knew about this, but I do not recall everything. Nor did I remember the number of watches or a quantity of gold. Savez-vous d'où venait cet know, or que l'on vous confiait pour acheter gold from, des montres district office at the economic section, um, people uh, gave me in a small pack and I took it with uh, my uh, traveling by my bicycle and to do the, uh, the barter. Est-ce que ce type de transaction And était des transactions qui étaient autorisées, qui étaient bien vues euh, sous le was régime it, uh, Uh, which I did, I informed the district office and also uh, the district uh, people at the border about that transaction. Vous courriez un risque en vous livrant à ce genre de trafic. You were taking a risk, weren't you, engaging in that kind of business? Answer. Yes, I did take uh, some risk. Uh, there might be accident, especially at the point of bartering, because the Vietnamese took their goods, their goods to exchange with us. They uh, keep hiding. They avoid from their police, their duty police. Um, but uh, on our side, we did not. Um, fear for anything because we were outright to do so. So I told them that I brought uh, four pigs uh, for you and uh, can you check your goods uh, to exchange, for example, uh, ten loom of cloth, uh, the string for the hammocks, uh, the quantity of them, and then uh, the other party who did uh, the battering, uh, sometimes he said uh, there, uh, there will be enough uh, and he will supply later sometime. Uh, he owe us for uh, some certain goods. Merci pour toutes ces précisions. Thank you for Mais ce all que je of these specifications. Savoir, but what I'd like to know is 
Were you taking any risks? Sous le régime du Kampuchea, était-ce quelque chose dans Under votre région uh, alors qu'on avait supprimé this, uh, something that la propriété was privée que les biens étaient area, partagés collectivement that everything was shared. Était-ce normal was et acceptable normal? dans un tel contexte de partir context, uh, acheter des montres avec de l'or Est-ce que cela vous faisait courir un risque dangerous? par rapport aux autorités in relation to the authorities. Man. Answer. President, uh, please wait, Mr. President. Witness. International Monsieur Deputy Court Prosecutor, you may proceed. De l'ISAC. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je pense qu'il s'agit là d'une question répétitive qui vient d'être posée. On a demandé, ou plutôt... C'est le témoin qui a déjà répondu que c'était à moi qui lui avait donné les instructions. Donc j'ai l'impression qu'il y a répétition. Uh, uh, uh. All rise.